Poop. Yo ho bro and welcome to the show. This episode is going to be a little sporadic. Yes, we are going to be doing some more pixel statues, but we are also going to be doing some more work on our place. Specifically, I think I want to make a little road to our little mountain town that we have. Um, I don't actually expect people to use it, but there's nobody in between me and spawn for a thousand blocks. I mean, there's people to the right, and there's people to the left, a little bit behind me, but nobody between here and spawn. So I might as well make like a hiking path with some stones and some pillars on either side. It would be awesome. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get... Uh, if I give Leosar materials, if she can actually make some uh, roots mod, like standing stones al for along the path, just to make the uh, run a little bit quicker, because I know you can make a haste uh, beacon or something like that. So we'll, we'll see if we can uh, do that, so that if somebody does, it'll be a shorter run for them. So, spawn is to the north the east, and we are going to make a natural isk path hiking path with um, uh, just some interesting points along the way. Um, so alright, let's get started.
Alright, so, I have come up with an idea. I realize now that getting a path between here and spawn via only land is going to be difficult. Because there's a giant lake of water. Well, not lake. It's pretty much an ocean. It's an ocean of water. There's an ocean between me and um, spawn. One hit, one kill! Wonder! I hear you. Where are you? Oh, goodness sakes. Why does it always have to be cybernetic z baby zombies, eh? Come on. Die? There we go. I have to hit his feet. Because his head is too large and I aim for it. Oh, for goodness sakes. Die? Oh my gosh, come on! Well, oh boy! Okay, run, keep running, keep running! Uh, get myself a burger, hello text from my wife! And, oh, the zombie! Okay, so anyways, I've been working on the path, where can I find the path? Hi, creeper! Where'd the path go? path was right here just a minute ago! I swear it was! Turn around, right through the zombie. Oh no! I am conducting art here. Go away! Ah, I think it's over here. Aha! Found the path again. Okay, so this path goes right to that about that peak. No zombie, and it comes along to here. And I came along here without the zombie and without that baby skeleton. Oh, oh, art, water. Boat! And I thought, why not just make it a uh, an adventure? Woo! Oh! 
Oh, adventure, I say. So, oh, the path will actually end here in the river. And I was thinking of uh, Disney theme park rides with those uh, little silly mechanical things. And I can make little hippo thingies out of uh, some pixel bricks or just even normal normal Minecraft bricks. Just make uh, some animals as you come down the river. So I thought I would make the entire um, ride to uh, to my place. Yeah, it's some sort of an adventure. I'm gonna give uh, people some maps because I it's a it's a thousand blo ah uh, hello. Huh. Well, this'll be a thing along my path. Are you... You're a Bissell Clark craft. Uh-oh. Are you what I think you are? I don't think I can take you guys on. Oh, that's some of that slime stuff. Ooh, hello. I'm text again. Well, there's nothing in there right now. But... I might have to make a diversion around here. No, come on. Ah! Oh, cop! Lag! The lag made me poop myself. Okay, um... Oh, thank you for the sleep. That helps tremendously. So, actually, I am gonna have to make a diversion because there is no water path. So, I'm gonna have to make a cut through somewhere here. And probably right here before the doohickey. And I'm gonna have to go through here and then through the swamp. Because the swamp, it's gonna be its own adventure. Oh! I could make a cave through here. I was thinking of just terraforming the surface and such forth. Ooh, the Asura's on. Hello, Lesta! Uh, I'm gonna have to destroy natural habitat of bees. Um, ouch, bee. Yeah! Come through here. Um, good. Get out, boat. Thank y'all. Boat. Thank you. Awesome! Yeah, I'll leave that little dip of water in there. Exciting little small dip! Like those all those mechanical rides have. Alrighty. I can't really dig well in Oh I can! Fear me! I'm the boat digger! Boat digger! Come on. Block, 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 block. These blocks are blocking my path. There we go. Perfect. All right. Here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and I'd have like uh, on some of the paths I have a uh, little pirates off to the side too. I'm trying to think of what else I would do thematically, because I'm going to have to go across an entire ocean, and I'm going to have to keep the interest of the of the rider, because I'm going to have to call these people riders, because they're going to be riding across the ocean. Whereabouts? Uh, I got an unbreakable block in my base. Uh, I think I have one of those too. Um, just a quick hint for you guys, because I need to tell you this. Larva, 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 larva. Uh, shelf. Whatever you do, do not make the immersive craft shelf. It's stupid. It's really, really just stupid. Not only does it have a little number in front of it to tell you how many it has, but the number is so big on the item that you can't see what the item is. And not only that, but the shelf doesn't break properly. You try to take an axe to it, and it just ends up putting the axe in the in the shelf. You shift, try to break it, and all that fun stuff. No, no, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So what I ended up doing, weirdly, kind of like this boat, kind of acting weird, um, ended up doing is that I found that if I fill up the shelf with just a bunch of dirt, uh, one blocks of dirt, then I can hit it with an axe without it going into the shelf because it's full of dirt. And I can finally break the shelf. So stupid immersive shelving, it doesn't work. So anyways, I've got to come across this ocean. 
Huh. I might have to set a... Set, why is there boats out here? Oh, this is weird. <gasps> I could have a pirate ship! Oh, ghost ships are coming through this area. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah, I can put a boat out here somewhere. Uh, put a sign on it. Yeah, take it down if you want to, if you if you want this area. Because I'm all this stuff, I don't, I'm not going to claim as mine. Like, oh, why'd you take it down? It's like, no, just, just take it down. I don't really care too much. This, the servers break and fall apart. I come into servers assuming that everything I make is going to be eventually destroyed. And the only thing I'm actually going to save of this stuff is these uh uh is these um is these videos so that's literally all the all the um saving i'm ever gonna have of these things okay yeah yes awesome and it'll come all the way over to here where we can have our adventure ow 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 Adventure Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy with an adventure! Um, yeah! Ow, why am I still poisoned? Go away. Okay, so yeah, we'd have a few boats in here, and then we have a little waterfall, and then it would be off through to the adventure through here and such forth. They have a few pirate ships navigate your way and have all these coordinates going. Like, ghost ship up ahead! Look out for the ghost pirates! As they're just blocks that don't really do anything, but they'd be like, Marr. But yeah, I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. And I'm just gonna plop these things wherever, and if somebody wants the area, I'm just not gonna get mad. I just, like, just take it down. Hey, you have free materials, too. I could do that. Yeah, free materials. Free materials! To anybody that I wants the spot where I put all this stuff free materials. Ta -da! So I've made quite the amount of progress on a few things around here. Uh, as you just saw, I ran through um, those doohickeys, the uh, the statues for everybody. I've gotten through four people now on the. Uh, Four more people on this episode, so we got through Dragonstar, we, thought, we got through Gavin, we got through Gypsy Fox, and we got, I think about, let me check over on my paper, I got a, a list of people that I still need to make uh, things for. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got like six more people that I definitely got to do. Um, one, two, three, four. Four of them are from the uh, FTBBBB series, so I've got to do those people first and then I'm definitely going to be getting on to more of the people that are on this server. Uh, we should head on over quickly over to spawn and we can take a look over at do, 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 do. we can take a look over at Shadow's little plot land. Um, head on oh I should uh, while I'm here I lag. while I'm here just take a look over at Leah Sar's oh, hub the spawn house that she has now uh, she took apparently this what is this raw ancient raw stone pillar and she chiseled out a little bit of it and it looks fantastic I like how she did this and she added in a bit of the I think that's uh, what is this shimmering wood planks she added in a bit of the shimmering wood planks and she actually has a teleporting system all the way over to her base. So now we can actually head on over. Going loop. Uh, and we are actually in Leasara's base. Check it out. Check, 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 check it out. I think it's fantastic, those teleporters. I thought they were only a little bit uh, distance. That's why in the FTBBB server, I just used them for around the base. But Because actually, that's what they said their limit was. But no, this is all the way across the uh, the map. Um, let's see here. Uh, super. Yeah, these things are fantastically expensive. You have to get an HD pellet, which uh, reactors, stupid things. 
Yeah, that and have to get just those pallets, and then I gotta get a teleporting thingamajigger that is uh, super, super expensive. I just. All this stuff that I would have to get in order for that teleport. Not happening anytime soon, so we are definitely going to continue on with our theme park ride. Or not really ride, more like a cruise with like one or two stops. Her little setup here is fantastic. Just, just really pretty. I think Omega made it pretty up here. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, Leosar added some more pretty to this area, but I... I think she has. It's fantastic. Uh, let's head on back to spawn. Do, 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 do. So now got those two bases done with. Since I did the statue for Leah Sara, got her uh, normal base and her spawn base. Let's head on over to Shadow. I don't know where. Well, actually, I do have on his map where Shadow's place is, but heck, if I'm actually going to get there anytime soon. So Shadow is pretty much right next to me over here. Um, so we got Shadow's statue right over here. Uh, the head is an iron block, and um, that was the closest thing that I could get, get that hair, and I think it does pretty well. I'm getting better at these these uh, helmet pixels, because some of the people actually have little pixels that stick out from the head, the, the armor thing. But it can only do so much because the end of the block uh, stops right at the edge of the arms and right at the top of the head. So I can only do so much before it actually does not connect to everything else. I'd, I'm trying to keep everything as just two blocks, the upper and the bottom. I don't want some um, additional blocks that have to add on. The only... Ah, uh, bad thing is this black stripe here. I wish I wish I could get rid of that black stripe, but the silver hair looks fantastic, and I like that. The eyes have finally got around to uh, looking a lot better using a copper block, a different type of copper block. Um, ah, uh, Shadow, you're missing your ender pearls. I'm hoping that you have something over at your base uh, with that. So yeah, that's uh, his place. Let's see here, home. Hookah. And I made a ton of progress over here. Um, let's head on. Uh, let's see here. I think the only thing upwards. Oh, poop! Oh, I lived. <laughs> that is why I enjoy having two sets of heart containers. Ooh. I can fall down and I can. I can handle it. Okay, so I don't think that there's anything up here that I need uh, to show you guys. Um, I think I showed you guys that I have these plots. Finally put in some more supports on the bottom of these other areas that were just kind of floaty around here. Um, extended the waterfall all the way up to the top where I'll eventually start doing something up there. Um, I added in more storage. You wouldn't can really care about that. I added, however, in a couple more teleporters down here. Um, uh, ooh, Void World! Um, actually, yeah, yeah, let's go to the Void World first. I now have a little Void Portal now. Uh, this little design is just a chiseling bit. This is the actual portal. You right-click on this guy and you go into your own personal little, uh, Void area that you can just avoid pretty much anything ever unfortunately i wasn't able to decide exactly where i wanted the portal and i didn't know that by moving the portal in the overworld it actually adds more of these blocks in here so i just um yeah i gotta keep these things and i can't break them there's 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 no tool that that will break this at all no no tool look up and left yeah no tool so, I'm going to figure out something that I want to do with this. I don't really know what to do with this. I mean, nobody's going to come across it but, but me and these videos. Nobody else is going to be able to access these, so I have no idea what to do with it. Um, I do have some more of these rocks that I've placed around inside of the cave. I think uh, a little bit of extra, uh, just a little bit of extra chisel and bit inside of the cave will do wonders in here um i'm think 
I'm adding in a couple more pieces here and there just as like uh, that's chisel bit there like uh, that's chisel bit there just to just to add a little bit more decorative areas to this I got a bunch of rocks around here as a cave should have a bunch of rocks just laying around I got a bunch inside of the pit here where I've been just hacking away at all of these statues there's got to be a bunch of rocks around here um, the quickest way that I found to find make these guys is I just take a small cube the normal smug and small cube not the grid snap just the regular one and if you right click down you'll get a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube okay and once you place over the center pixel of this and you just take that off it actually adds in all those cubes and leaves in one layer so now I have a one layer block of, of stone and you never notice when you walk over it there is the teeniest hump that actually happens there but when you're just walking around you'll you'll never notice especially if you have a walking walking bob like I do I I love uh, love those love the walking bob I know there's a lot of people that don't put on these glasses because it's gonna get a little bit dark um yes I added in a couple more teleporters so now I can get down to my garden a little bit easier instead of just by going down through the through the waterfall. Um, let's head on down a little bit more uh, over here, and we have the second garden area where I finally added in some void hoppers to uh, help keep all of the stuff in. So now when I break break it, everything now just everything just pops right into the uh, void the, the void hopper so fantastic there um, I have one more uh, yeah I have uh, one more layer downwards so that when I do have the uh, the fishing village I'll have a little uh, exit platform or a building here for the village and I can have a little roll rows uh, yeah. roads leading to each of the buildings that are down there for the, the the fishing huts and actually let me go up here show you that I'm going downwards all right so we're going down one we're going down we're going down 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 oh what's this big giant uh the void area and if I step off I like this. I think this is fantastic. I gotta figure out something to do with this. I'm thinking of doing some type of magic room where I can uh, have a sign right about... Uh, let's see here. Just put a connected plane. Let's put a sign... Say I put a sign right there and that says to the potion brewing and then I put a sign here and that goes to the enchantment. And the way these blocks work is that if I have it at the corners of these of these uh, buildings I won't actually see the doorway until I actually move off to the left oh oh more I can I can do it more I can I won't be able to see the doorway until I move off to the left section and then I'll be able to walk through so none of these doors are actually gonna appear until I move off to the left that would look fantastic I love it I think it's fantastic all right so back up a little bit actually let's come down here uh, what we're going to do is I'm gonna show you a little bit more of uh, what I have done Ooh, I need a sword uh, do, 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 do. I want a sword which is right over here put that on my bar sword awesome did the pool a little bit more and drop on down here got the pool I think this is really really cool I added in the uh, mushrooms um, no that's right it, it wasn't seen in this video I made a pixel and just a little bit mushroom that has some uh, glowstone uh, underneath of it as you can see right there and there's just enough in order to make it as illuminative as a torch 
so I can just get rid of all of these torches and everything's gonna be lit up with either these mushrooms or these that was sweet. why am I hearing what is oh that's what's going on hello well that was that was the weirdest sound I thought it was just the normal wind lightning um, so I got the path working and these mushrooms up to illuminate the path and I got these guys which I'm really liking these uh, logs I have to do it in a specific direction these are north south logs and these ones are east west logs but I can have steps that go up here and I think they are awesome little garden steps I just think they're fantastic these guys just there. I think those are super, super awesome. So I got these little steps here that function just nice. And there's a spider or something around here. But anywho. Oh, there you are. Awesome. Um, so that's all I have for the path uh, set up. There's a creeper over there. There's. I need to figure out steeper steps. Oh, gosh. Just scare the piss out of me, would you? Oh. All right, and I got some more mushrooms that are leading along that pathway there, as you can see, and just lighting up the path all the way up to the river for right now. Um, probably gonna just stop the mushrooms there, but I love the way that this is turning out this pathway. Uh, this turns over to the worship area. Got a teeny little bridge here that goes over the waterfall from the from this waterfall from the small little pond just walk up here and you can get onto the rope and climb right on up to to the top of the mountain you can stop off at each of the gardens if you want to had a long journey um, oh, there we go uh, and just work you know what, sometimes these ropes are fantastic looking, but they don't function quite right. But yeah, that is what I've gotten fixed up around here. I think it's super awesome. Um, got to add in a, a lot more. We're going to get to a lot more things um, as we progress through this, uh, through building our area, making it our town. Let me know, guys, what you want as your buildings those people that uh i um that have been in the previous ftbb bb series their statues let me know what type of building you want and i will get into it otherwise i'm just going to assume you want some type of technology thingy and um you'll want someplace gray and you'll want to ah, lag And you'll want a uh, a uh, a charger, yes. So that is what is going to happen in the future. That's what's uh, going to. That's what I've completed so far. So thank you everybody for watching. This this is lag. Hello everybody. This is lag. This is the Puka signing out. Thank you everybody for watching. Remember to set down a comment. Let me know that you're liking all of this, and I will definitely continue doing this. See you all later, guys.